So I was actually about to go to Tumamak, but I stopped by this little marketplace to get a cup of coffee. And because it's been a while since I've gone in the shops, I decided to just do some window shopping, peek around, and I found some really cool stationary stuff. Turns out, fountain pens are in stores <laughs> more regularly now. It's kind of amazing. And also, traveler's notebooks are in stores more regularly, and that blows my mind too. There, of course, were lots and lots of stickers too that are always tempting. But that's a slippery slope. It's really easy. That adds up very quickly if you start buying a $3 sticker, vinyl sticker, and pretty soon you're spending a hundred bucks on stickers and it's just like, so I didn't buy anything. I bought nothing. I was really tempted by the little, the little traveler's notebook, but it was really nice. <laughs> but I'm like, I could make that myself. There was, they cut out a piece of leather and put a hole in it with some elastic. I think I can do that. There wasn't any like finishing touches, there wasn't any stitching, but I'm always more excited to use somebody else's goods than I am my own. I don't like using the stuff that I create. So anyways, I'm making this vlog because I wanted to share some other things that we did this weekend. We have officially adopted Dot the little short-legged dog that we were kind of fostering for a while there. She had been taken to a family, but it didn't work out. And that was when we decided she's, she's a perfect fit for our family. Big responsibility adding another critter into the, the family, but we decided it was the right thing to do and I'm really glad we did. She fits in so well. So this last weekend was her first road trip and also her first time in the snow. And it was just the first of many things. It was even the first time that she swam. She actually fell in, but she did really well. She stayed really calm. Oh my goodness. Good girl. Yay. I think Fig really appreciates her company, especially when she chases him. He loves having someone chase him. He often will try to encourage other dogs to do that, but they get really intimidated. And so now he has someone that can chase him and maybe one day she'll be able to catch up, although I kind of doubt it. We were able to fit a whole lot in this weekend. We went up to the mountains to stay with my parents, my mom and stepdad, and then we went skiing up there. And then we drove down by way of dirt roads, backcountry.
came across a place with a cliff dwelling and a perfect camping spot that we ended up staying a night in and walked the next morning to find a hot spring. Oh my goodness. Yes, we bathed. <laughs> it was beautiful. Bean, of course, was along with us as well. So that's <laughs> Bean, Dot, and Fig. It's a big family now. Bean did great. He got a lot of exercise this trip too. He hasn't been on a hiking trip in a while now. And he definitely worked hard at keeping up. And there were times, of course, when, when he wanted to be held. And so Brian and I took turns carrying him for, for the hike. Got to see a little baby javelina. Oh my goodness, the cutest thing ever. And Fig and Dot slept so well in the tent and they had a little blanket over them. It was quite adorable, although they didn't keep it on them the whole night. Fig lays really dramatically when he sleeps and sometimes looks like a dead dog. I also wanted to talk to you all about potentially doing a Patreon. I have a vague sense of what it is, but I don't I haven't really looked much into it. I am subscribed to some people's Patreons though. I have never <laughs> watched them. I just wanted to support all the things that they do and create. Uh, so I'm, I'm kind of considering doing that, but I want to know what you would like to see. What would make you as a subscriber here want to support my Patreon account? Um, I don't know what I have to offer that would feel worthwhile that I could gift you in return for this monthly subscription. I have considered doing like a monthly Q&A sort of thing or maybe a live stream. Maybe I could do a tutorial of some kind. Maybe do have like once a month do a special requested video. Um, and then would I only post those on Patreon or should I post them on my YouTube channel first? I know some people do like uh, videos only for Patreon and sometimes they'll do ooh, a really gorgeous Westfalia um, Volkswagen camper van just drove by and totally distracted me. What was I saying? I want one of those so bad. <laughs> uh, Wow, that really derailed my thoughts. It's it's beautiful. I stand corrected. It's not the camper van version, but it's four wheel drive. Oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, Patreon. I also thought maybe I could send uh, like a monthly sticker or postcard, like a vintage postcard that I find. But I don't know. I don't know if I would be able to keep up with it because I have no idea how many people would actually want to subscribe. It could be one person or it could be a hundred, in which case that might get a little overwhelming really quick and I may not be able to find enough <laughs> uh, vintage postcards, nor um, would I actually earn any money maybe if I was buying postcards to send out. I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, no, no clue what to expect. But I would love your feedback on, on the, all of that and if that was something any of you would be interested in subscribing to. So I'm at a crossroads in, in my career in which I am trying to figure out what the next step is. I have earned a little bit of an income through YouTube. Thank you all for putting up with my ads. I really do appreciate that. That helps. It's a really good supplement. Um, I have earned a little bit of an income through Etsy. That also helps. Thank you again for your support. I also do, you know, the renovation and handy woman work 
if, if you will, I don't know what to call myself. But yeah, I, I do those things as well, which is a huge supplement, but it runs out and at least the jobs run out quickly. You know, I have little bursts here and there of big projects and I get paid really well. So I'm trying to expand or enhance what I already have YouTube included and w I guess I, I also want to know what kind of videos you all would like to see in the future my channel is all over the place I I like I would like to keep it that way although I recognize that you know some of the bigger channels do better if they stick to one topic because that's why people are there that's what they're there to see you know whether it's always pens or always dogs or always cars you know and so to have this like sprinkling of random things here and there, I can understand why not everybody would appreciate that because they see a pen video of mine and they subscribe thinking it's going to be pens all the time and then it's not. So anyways, I want to keep it a sprinkling because that's really fun for me. I have so many interests that I want to share and explore. So I really don't like the idea of like having to, to stick with one thing, but I do want to know what you would like to see in the future um, as far as content goes. And uh, let's see, I also applied for a job because it sounded appealing, uh, it sounded like something that I could definitely do, but I don't know if I'm 100% qualified, if I'll, I'll be a good candidate. Um, and if I don't get the job, then I want to like be able to take the YouTube channel to the next level if I can while still remaining casual and amateur <laughs> amateur hour uh, <laughs> because I like being able to film with just my my cell phone I like being able to pick it up and film whenever I feel inspired to I don't have special lighting or special photo editing or special equipment um, and I've been kind of reluctant to do those things because that just seems like a big investment and but but then if this is what I'm calling my main job then by all means that's exactly what I should do if that would make my channel better for you as a viewer. I feel like now I'm, I'm very rambly but those are just some of the thoughts that are on my mind. Thank you all for sitting here and listening. I'll see you in the next video.